Hi, I'm Chris. I'm here in Japan, in Gifu City. We're at the JR Gifu Station, as you can see up there. When I first came to Japan, I was extremely intimidated by the train system, especially JR, because you have to use it to go anywhere. Well, it's super easy, and so we're going to make this little video to show you that there's nothing to be afraid of and that it's really simple. My wife is manning the camera, and we are going to go in to the station here, and we are going to buy tickets to go to Nagoya, because that's where we're going today, and we'll show you how easy it is to use the JR system. Step one is that you need to decide where you're going. And we look at the train map here, and we're here inside the station where the uh, people are buying their tickets. But we look at the sign above. And so this is mostly in Japanese. However, the major stations are in English. So we're going to zoom in. We are in Gifu. See that in the center of the frame in red. And we're going to Nagoya. Okay? So you can see that in uh, Gifu here, to go to Nagoya, you see the numbers up top, that's the number of yen it takes to buy a ticket to take a regular train to the station. So we need to buy a 450 yen ticket. So we're going to go to the ticket machine and buy one. Okay, step two, we're here at the machine and here's where you buy a ticket. Now, we are English speakers, so we're going to go English. All informations will be displayed in English. So we need tickets for two because my wife and I are moving or are going together. So we press the button for two people. And now we go, uh, what did I say? 450. So we have a 450 ticket, one-way tickets, two tickets. So I put in my thousand yen note. Register. I took the thousand yen and I'll come out with two tickets and 100 yen of change. And I hand one ticket to my wife, He's right there. And I take the other one and we go over to the ticket machine. Okay, so now we're gonna go up on the train platform and we have to go through the ticket gate. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your ticket in one end and it will come out the other end. Take it with you, you do not want to leave it there. If something happens and it rejects your ticket, you did something wrong, and you'll have to talk to the station attendant or something. But uh, basically, you just go straight through. You stick your ticket in, and it comes out the other end, and make sure you take it. So here we go. Ticket goes in, comes out the other end. You take your ticket and proceed to the platform. One of the things that's incredibly intimidating are these train schedules, but actually it's very easy. We're looking at the train schedule, and we're going to Nagoya. Hard to see through the glare there, but there it says to Nagoya and Okazaki. So the question is, which one do we take? Well, what you do is you look down this column here. Th these are the times in 24-hour clock mode for the local time, of course, starting at... Uh, 5 a.m. and going down to uh, midnight at zero. So what time is it now? It's 10 o'clock, uh, let's see, it's 10.05 local time. So what we do is we look here at the 10 o'clock, 10.08, 10.12, 10.13, 10.23, 10.26, etc. So the time right now is 10.05, so we could, in theory, take the 10.08 train and go somewhere. But here's the thing that's confusing. Look at all these different lines. You have all these different options. So what do you choose? Well, the answer is, basically, you can take any of these trains with the ticket you bought, except for the red one. That's the fancy reserved car. So just forget about that one. Any of these trains you can take with the ticket you just bought. Sorry, other people needed to read the schedule there. Anyway, the difference is that the black numbers here, like this 13, correspond to the black track here, which stops at every single station. So if you're going somewhere, it's going to take you longer. But that's okay. It's still not bad. Any of these other lines here, the green, the blue, the orange, and the yellow, you can take with your ticket. It won't matter. They're not paying attention to what kind of train you take as long as you get on and off at the correct station. So, uh, to sum up, for example, uh, right now it's moved on a little bit, it's about 10, 10.08 or so. 
So 10, 13 would make the best choice for us because we're not in a big hurry to get anywhere. So we can take the line that, that stops at every station and the little number there, that number five, indicates track five. So when we go up on the platform, we go to track five. So 10, 13 departure from track five is the train we'll take. We're gonna take a local train and go to Nagoya. But before we go up on the platform, Let's take a look at the electronic sign. Here's the sign. And there is our train. Local starting station 1013 for Okazaki, track five. So that tells us where we're going to go. It, it flips between Japanese and English, so it's, it's very easy to, to see. And in this case, we want the Tokaido line for Nagoya. We've just stepped up from the uh, ticket gates, which are a bit back there. We're about to go up to the platform, and you can see there's track number six, five, four, three, two, and one are over there. But we want track five, so we're going to go this way. Here we are on track five. This is a non-reserved car. You just get on anywhere you want. Have a seat, and if you want, check the electronic uh, sign up there. Yep, that's us. So we're good. Okay, so here we are in Nagoya. We just got off of this train, and we are now going to exit out. The exit. Oh, boy, that's loud. So choose an exit. Okay, now we're about to go out the ticket gate here. Now it will take your ticket and it will not give it back, and that is correct. So go in any ticket gate that has the arrow, as my wife will do here. You take it in, and it opens up, and it does not give it back. And out you go. And there it is. And you are done. And that ends our lesson.